Hello, this is Katie, and today we have a very specific purpose of this screencast. We are not defining DevOps here or discussing DevOps, just touching two practices of that called continuous integration and continuous delivery. In that part, what we're going to cover is so there is a very little tiny web app based on Docker and LAMP framework. That's what I'm going to use here for demonstration purpose. So we're going to show here that what happens when developers start development with feature branch and they develop the code and merge. Finally, that is merged into master branch of source code repository. And then, so we are using GitHub just for the demonstration purpose. And when it when it comes to the CI and CD tool, so in this case we are using Atlassian Bamboo, and it's doing here integration part as well as deployment for completing delivery pipeline. So again, very small part just for the sake of demonstration. It's in actual scenarios in production that's going to be more sophisticated. But here we're just focusing on end-to-end -end action thing. So Bamboo does all builds and it depending on the triggers it automatically sensor or senses source code repository and on the basis of certain conditions or parameters it triggers the deployment. So in this case we are pretending that our QA deployment environment is QA environment is automated with continuous deployment by Bamboo and of course it has capability to send out notifications when and when there is a new build so that QA knows at the very first place and they can plan their activities so for example in a scrum team so now let's jump to the actual environment or what I have set up here just for the demonstration purpose okay so let's pretend that this is developer's box. They're gonna double up on that. And finally, God will be checked in to source code repository. In this case, we are using GitHub. And we see that whenever there is a commit in master branch, then Bamboo is Atlassian CI CD tool. So we're using it just for demonstration purpose. You can use Jenkins or any other similar tools. And it's gonna sense that when there is a new when there is a new commit, it's gonna start it's gonna start building that and performing automated testing. And then if everything goes fine, then on the basis of certain conditions, so in this case we have set up like if everything all tests are passed, code quality and uh, this criteria is met, then go ahead and start deployment. So once that is done, then this is the environment where so we are pretending that this is QA environment where the build will be where the deep actual deployment will happen. And then we're gonna do that for us using deployment project. And then it will be the application. So just pretend that we are using first time when there is no app in frequent cases. So in further in further um cases it will be like some build is already there and then it, will, it is being replaced by another one so we'll quickly capture that as well so let's come here and so to make it simple just make change some index.php and for example we say okay let's say some we did some change now we'll push it to our source code repository so demo priority so this is a simple app and i'll show the interface once it is deep line and it comes up
Okay. Under credentials, and hopefully it's correct. Yeah. So now this should be 22 commits. So it's 21 for now. Refresh 22. It has picked that up. And if you see the details, you'll see that demo priority it has picked it up. Now we expect that so there are 10 builds. Now it should sense an 11th build should start. And then if everything goes fine in that build, then Bamboo should start deployment. So let's see. Um, meanwhile, what we have done, so I'm going to edit that plan to show, so this is default job. And what it's doing with a simple thing, it's simply checking out that repository. And then it's going to tar the whole directory. Okay, that's what we are doing in building that. And of course, there's a artifact that shared artifact so that deployment project can pick that up. It's a tar file. Okay, now let's have a look over priority deployment project. So this is where we have got our deployment plan. So this is simple. We have said that, okay, this is our queue environment. And these are the tasks to be performed on this when actual deployment will happen. So this is default task. We have not done anything in that. And we have said, that, okay, download all the artifacts. And then after that, here we're saying, okay, take those artifacts and SCP that to our machine, what we are saying QA machine in this case. And then there is another SSH task where we are saying that if there is already one deployed, then take its backup and just untar the deployed file. And all the steps gonna be executed in a sequence, so we are safe. And then we are saying, okay, just perform some basic setup, app, basic setup steps to app to um, like as part of the deployment, like creating Docker images or um, containers, starting containers so that it's up. So now let's cancel that and see what's the status here. So it says 11th build is successful. And release seven is created out of that. And it says, okay, this deployment is also successful. So now let's see. So if we refresh here, then we see this file has been deployed here and it has been extracted and Docker images and containers should be running. We can verify from here quickly. So we refreshed and we see that, okay, this is up. So what actually happened so far? From developer's machine up to the production, like, so by the by this time, uh, like all the stakeholders, including like scrum teams, and they have been notified that, okay, there is a new release and ready for testing so they can go ahead and test. So this is a very simple app where you can add your task, for example, um, do, um, like farm new release testing or something and you add that and then by default it's top first priority like red you can degrade priorities by clicking on that so, so it sounds that it's good for testing so this is one case now let's say the let's pretend that there have been some other changes and this title should be changed back to priority or something like that. So let's pretend that there is already one release and another release to be here. Now how that works, come back to our dev machine. And again, let's say that this is the change that we're gonna do to set that up to priority and we'll see how it happened. So change back to priority. And we do push it fixed priority title and push it to the repository.
Okay, here we go. See here, there should be 20. So we should see our fixed priority title. Now it should, uh, it should start building 12th build. So it, for now, just for the um, simplicity we have set it up, we have not changed the default polling value, that's 180 seconds. So it's gonna pick that up and it will do deployment and all that. Once it is done with it, then we can see on here, so see how fast it is, it, it has changed that. So this, so this is what, this is what uh, we were trying to demonstrate like from end to end. Um, in real scenarios, this is gonna be very sophisticated. You have to think a lot about your organizational culture, your workflow, how you're gonna put that feedback circle, how you're gonna improve it or like all continuous um, improvement thing. So this is just one practice of DevOps team or DevOps culture, I should say. Um, so if we match it with the what we were talking about on slide, so quickly just to recap it, switch back to that presentation. So what we did, so we see that our dev, we see that when code was checked in from the developer's laptop, it got to GitHub and Bamboo senses that and does all that building, testing, and deployment thing for us and send notifications. After de successful deployment or failed up deployment, it's up to you how you configure that. So yeah, that's the purpose of this screencast. Um, let me know how you, what do you think about it? If there is something uh, that is not clear or something should be improved, or if this is helpful in any case, like feedback is always most welcome. Um, thank you so much for your time and uh, have a wonderful rest of the time. Thank you.